Bruchim Haboim. Welcome everyone. We're about to begin Be'ezras Hashem on Daf Samech Gimel Amud Beis. 11 lines from the bottom from the two dots. The Gemara brings another drasha. Posach, Posach Rab Nechemya Bechor Achsanya V'Darash. This time Rabbi Nechemya, he opens up with the following drasha in honor of those who host the Talmidim. My dichsi, what's meant by the following posuk? Vayoymer shol el keni. Shol says to the keni people, Lechu suru redu mitoich amaleki. Go and veer away and come down from the area of Amolek pen osifcho amoy, imoy, lest you be gathered together with them vaato asisa chesed im kol b'nei Yisrael. Because you did chesed, meaning referring to the Canaanim's grandfather, Yisroi. Since he did chesed with Klai Yisrael, therefore, Shaul, he warns the Canaanim to stay away from Amalek because they're about to wage war with Amalek and therefore he wants to spare them. It says the Gemara, the following Jerusha that Rabbi Nechemia is saying, V'halo dvarim kav ha'choymer, U'ma Yisroi shelo korev es Moshe, if Yisra only came not for Moshe's glory but for his own glory and still he got so much covered from Klai Yisrael and nonetheless his grandchildren were spared as a result of the cover that he gave Moshe Rabbeinu then Hamarech Tami Chocham B'toich Beisoi if this is what Yisro did when he fed Moshe Rabbeinu and Kla Yisrael, how much more so when a host feeds their guests by giving their own house and their own food and their mahane with their own nechosim. Posek Rabbi Yosi b'chod achsanya v'dorash. Rabbi Yosi this time he says the following psicha in order to then honor the hosts of the Talmidim. Don't start off with Adoimi, the Edomites, because he is your brother. Don't start off with the Mitzrim because you were a sojourner in their land. When Yaakov Avinu and his family came down from Eretz Canaan, when there was a famine, they hosted Yaakov and his family. It was only for their own benefit. It states, They said they'll be, the brothers of Yosef will be those who will Take care of the sheep. They'll be shepherds. If that's the benefit that we should give Mitzrim, who had ulterior motives, then certainly when it comes to a host, who hosts Tamidei Chachamim and gives of his own house, his own food, and his own Nechosim, certainly he deserves tremendous respect. He opens up with honoring the hosts who have the Talmidim with the following Jerusha V'dorash. Vayivarech Hashem es Oiveid Edoim. Hashem blessed Oiveid the Edomite. Ba'avur Aaron Ha'elokim. Because he hosted the Aaron for three months in his home, watching over the Aaron Elokim. Ba'alo Dvarim Kavachoymer. Uma Aaron shaloi ochal veshosa. The Aaron is not something that eats and drinks that you have to maintain it. Ela kabeid verabeid lefonov kach. Only you have to sweep the floor around it and you have to then water the floor to keep it clean around it. Hama arech tam echochom betoich beisoi. Uma achilo loi umashkeu umanehu menechosov al achas kamo vekamo. But when it comes to the Talmidim, who are your guests, and you have to give of your own house and your own food and your own nechassim, how much more so you deserve to be blessed. Ask the Gemara, what is the bracha that HaKash gave 
the Oyved Edoimite. It says in the positive, Vayivarech Hashem es Oyved Edoim. Says the Gemara, Om Rabbi Yehuda bar Zvido zu chamois veches kalosel, sheyoldu shisho shisho bekeres echon. This was the woman chamois, which was his wife, and her eight daughter-in-laws. HaKash Baruch Hu blessed them to have six children at once, to give birth to six child, children at once. Shenemar, it states, Pu'ulsai Hashmini, the eighth name was Pu'ulsai. V'ksiv, it says, Ki Baruchu Elohim kol eile mi bnei oived edoim heimo u bneiem v'acheiem ish chayil b'koyach lo'avoido shishim v'shanayim lo'oived edoim. There were 62 children to edoim, to oived edoim. The following cheshbon is made. He had eight daughter-in-laws and his wife. So the nine of them, they had six children at once. So nine times six is 54 children, plus the original eight. So 54 and the eight gives a total of 62 children. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu blessed him that he was zoichet to this great amount of children. Om Rabbi Avin Halevi, he gives the following drasha, kol adoichek es hasho, hasho adorchaktoi. Anybody who pushes, that means he's, he's forcing the situation when it's not a zman, a time that is, that is supposed to then be opportune for him. Then the shaw is dochaktoi. Then the shaw then pushes him away. And therefore he's not successful. They call hanidchem ibnei ha-shaw. Anybody who pushes aside for the shaw, that means that he is able to then push it off for another time because he sees it's not the right opportunity, then Shaw nidches miponov. Then he will then ultimately be successful. Midrabba v'Rav Yosef with the following example. The Rav Yosef sinai v'Rabba oikir harim. Rav Yosef was a baki in Shas. He knew all different places in the Torah, whereas Rabba was somebody who was unique in his great erudition of pilpul. In his depths of learning. So it's Trichilhushaitsa. They needed a Rosh Shiva to appoint a Rosh Shiva. And the question was to whom should they appoint? Shalchu Lahasom Sinai Vaikir Harim Eze Mehem Kaidem. When it comes to these two qualities, the one who is a Sinai, the one who has tremendous bikius, or the one who is Orek Oikir Harim, the one who is erudite in his ability to then make pilpul and Plummet the depths of the Torah. Which one takes precedence? Which is greater? Shalchuluhu Sinai Koidem. They answered that Sinai, the, the Baki, is greater. He takes precedence. Why? Shakol Tzrichim Lamori Chatiyo. Because everybody needs the gathering of wheat. In other words, the gathering of the Torah. Since there are halachas from all of the, of the places, and he's somebody who knows all the halachas wherever they are, that's more valuable. Afa Pike, nonetheless, it says, Lo kibbal Allah Rav Yosef. Rav Yosef did not accept upon himself this kavod of being the Rosh Hashiva at that time. Why? The Amre Le, because it was said to him, Koldai, Malchus Tartin Shnin. Koldai, referring to this sorcerer, this Koldai, this said to him that your kingship will only be lasting for two years. Molach Rabo Esum Vitartin Shnin. Rabo, he's going to then going to have his mastery, meaning he's going to be the, the Rashi for 22 years. Molach Rav Yosef Tartin Shnin Upalga. And he, Rav Yosef, ultimately had two and a half years. In other words, he gave up the position for his comrade Rabo, who then was a Rashi Shiva for 22 years. Only afterwards, subsequently, he took the position of Rosh Hashiva and he was given an additional half a year. He has two and a half years until afterwards he passed away. All of these years that Rabba of 22 years was the Rosh Hashiva. Rav Yosef didn't even allow the doctor who was going to bloodlet come to his home, he would go to the Roifa himself. 
he didn't act with any type of superiority during that period of time. V'om Rabbi Avin Halevi Mai Dichsiv. What's meant by the pasuk? Yan Cha Hashem BeYom Tzor. Hashem will answer you in your great distress, in the day of distress. Yisagev Cha Hashem Elokei Yaakov. Says the Gemara Elokei Yaakov Elokei Avraham VeYitzchok. It's only Hashem who's the God of Yaakov, but not the God of Avraham and Yitzchok. Mikan Labal Hakore Sheikhanes Ba'av Yoshel Kore. From here we learn that the one who is carrying a beam, that he should put the heaviness of that beam on his shoulder. He should put the part of the beam on the heavy part so he's able to balance the, the, the beam, which is heavy on him, and carry it that way. In other words, it's a reference to Yaakov Avinu. That not Yaakov Avinu, who had all of these children, the, 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 the Yubei Shvatim, he raised those children all by himself, and therefore, he was busy for all of the children. Like Rashi says, Yaakov shekol habonim shaloi. They were his children. V'torach b'gidulam. And he was busy raising them. Yevakesh aleim rachamim. So therefore, we invoke Yaakov Avinu in this prayer of Yan Hashem b'yom tzor Yisagech Hashem elokei Yaakov the elokei of Yaakov who also then was besieged by Yaakov. V'omer Rabbi Avin Halevi, another drush that he made, Kol hanen emesuda, shetam echachem shari besoicha, anybody who is involved together from, with a suda that a tam echachem, a Torah sage, is also partaking in, it's ki'ilu nehen emeziv shechina. It's as if he is benefiting and enjoying the splendor of the shechina. Shenemar says, Vayavoy aharoin, together with Yisroel, in front of Hashem, were they eating in front of Elokim? In front of the Shechina? They were eating in front of Moshe. Anybody who enjoys a suda together with the Tamil Chacham, then he's going to enjoy, he's going to get pleasure from the splendor of the Shechina. As follows, because since the Tamil Chacham is present in that suda, therefore there's going to be Divrei Torah. And we know that when three are sitting together, the Mishnah Alva says, the Shechina is Beinehem. When there's three people sitting together and Divrei Torah is being said, the Shechina is there, it's present. So too, when a Tamil Chacham is present in the suda, he's going to be Nene Meziv, Hashchina. Another explanation is that since the greatest way to connect ourselves and be davek to Hashem, as the Pesach says, v'dav kaboy, it's a command to cleave to Hashem, the Chazal tell us in another place, how does one cleave to Hashem? Hare Hashem, he's an oish eish oicheles. He's not a human being, he's not a physical being. So how do you cleave to Hashem? By cleaving to the Chachamim and involving yourself with them, thereby in this case, when those who are present together with the Tamil Chacham in a Suda, they're going to be Nen to the, with the Shechina, they're going to be Nen Miziva Shechina because of his presence. The Omer Rabbi Avin, another drush that he makes, Halevi, Haniftar Mechaveroi. When a person takes leave of his friend, Al Yoimar Lo, he should not say to him, Lech Bisholim, Ela Lech Le Sholim. When a person takes leave as a friend, he should say Lech Lishalom and not Lech Bishalom. What's the idea? When a person leaves his friend, he should give him a bracha. And the bracha is Lech Lishalom. Go to achieve Shlemus. Since a person's happiness and success in this world and in the next is achieving Shlemus, therefore his bracha is Go Lech Lishalom to the Shlemus that you go need to achieve now in the rest of your life. Whereas when it comes to somebody who was nifter, who passed away, then you say, Lech bisholim. Go in the shleimus that you already achieved. Share Yisro she'omar le'le For Yisro that said to Moshe, Lech lisholim. Ola v'hitzliach. He went up and he was successful. David she'omar le'av sholom. Lech bisholim. Holach v'nitle. He went and he was hung. Rabbi Avin, Halevi, Hanifter, Minameis, 
Al yomer leich loy leich lishaloim ela leich bishaloim. When a person is leaving, taking leave from the mace, those who were migmalave the mace, they take leave of the mace. Al yomer loy leich lishaloim ela leich bishaloim. Go in the shleimos that you achieved. Shneimar says va'atotovoy ela voisecha bishaloim. Return to your forefathers in Shalom. Says the Gemara, Omar Rabbi Levi Bar Chio, Hayoitze mi beis hakneses v'nichnas beis hamedrash. A person who leaves the beis hakneses, which is designated for tefillah, and he enters afterwards to the beis hamedrash, which is designated for Torah learning, ve'oisik ba Torah, zoyche umekabel pnei shchina then he's going to merit to receive the Pnei Shechino. Shenemar says, Yelchu mechayel el choyu, yeiro el elokim b'tzion. Om Rabbi Chia bar Ashi marav, Talmidei chachomim ein lo hem menucho, loi ba'olam hazeh ve loi ba'olam habo. Shenemar says, Yelchu mechayel el choyu, yeiro el elokim b'tzion. So although we know that Olam habo is the place where there's going to be tremendous schar, the, tra- the place of, of menucha and simcha, forever and ever. But here it's saying that he won't have menucha because he'll be going up and up in his understanding, in the depths and enjoyments of the pleasure of nan- being nana miziva shechina. And therefore it'll be a constant process. Whatever enjoyment he has, it'll continue, always being higher and greater and more deep. And therefore, he'll go from chayil el chayil, always not, always progressing and being elevated, and thereby it's considered to be not having menucha in that sense. Om Rabbi Allah, Om Rabbi Chanina, Talmidei Chacham Marbim Shalom Ba'olam. The Talmidei Chachamim they increase shalom in this world. Shneimaz it states v'chol banayich limude Hashem v'rav shalom banayich al tikre banayich. Don't read your children, but rather your builders. Shalom Rav Lo Avei Asech Zor Asech Avei Lo Mo Michshal. He shown bechel lechshalva ba'amono sayich. Leman achay v'rei adal b'ano shalom shalom boch leman beis Hashem elokin abach shatoiv loch. The Talmidei Chachamim are considered to be builders because through their learning they're building this world, and therefore the Masech that ends with the following pasuk. Hashem oiz la'amo yitain, referring to oiz, that power, that strength, the Torah itself. He gives oiz to his people. Hashem yivorech es amoy ba shalom. Hashem will bless his people with shalom. Hadron aloch haroye veslik aloch maseches brochois. 